Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and welcome to 2024. Yay! Happy New Year, everyone! Happy New Year! Time for some more video games! Yay! Some fresh new ones for your Atari 2600! And today we have mm. an exclusive world premiere mm. of Catch from Mike Litau, who's in the chat. Hey, so Mike. if you have any questions for him, <laughs> uh, he is in the chat to answer your questions. We're also going to be playing a Z Keep Button, which we have an exclusive update on. Oh, nice, nice, nice. But it was just released. Um, but I got an exclusive update uh, for that. And also we're going to be playing Steps as well all these are very very unique games so it should be a very interesting batch of games to play tonight uh but first let's thank the twitch subscribers yes her scrolling I'm beside to get, get my subscri subscription oh, excellent <laughs> and we just had a hype train a whole bunch of people just resubscribed thank you so much uh, 8-Bit Poet, Alan the Fur, Andrew, Atari, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, B.R. Pocock, Bruno Stooks, Caffman, 2D, Chelston, Mal, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Crazy Curtis, Cyrano Rebo, Dan, if you see Dr. Mook has Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Azure Rapper, no, uh, Ground to Group, Ground Trooper, Geraldo Herju, um, Johnny WC, Carl G, Kveltver, Lambda Express, Lord Crack, and Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari. Now, before the show... Uh, Metal Atari was saying something in the chat, mm. and I noticed there's two L's in Metal Atari. So I don't think it is Metal Atari. I think I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. What is it? Metal Latari? Me Metalatari. Metalatari. I th can he oh, confirm I like that. that it's Metalatari? Um, I'll say Metalatari. 1969 for now. Uh, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neomini, Nostalgic, Quahog, Raymond C, R70, Rendered Ghost, uh, Repentless VG, Revan Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spindly 1970, S. Ramirez, Tiki Dan K, TM Events, Trek MD, Vexorx, Vintage Game Memories, VVG Double Down, X Ken X, and if you would like to support the show and get your name read out, just like I did now, you can subscribe, uh, by hitting the subscribe button it's free if you have amazon prime just like gamma dev did atari 800 xl rules and carl g just before the show thank you so much no he hasn't answered yet maybe he stepped away from the computer um so has everybody been keeping their uh new year's resolutions <laughs> over the <laughs> past two days so far huh, huh? have you Armscar Coder! Hey! Welcome! 38 months. Woo. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, let me see. Have oh, I kept meat. any of them? <laughs> <laughs> any of them? Um, I haven't really made any, so that doesn't really... Uh... Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's one way to uh, uh, find a loophole in it. Um, let's see. I don't have any uh, news or feedback. It's you been don't. quiet during the holidays. Mm. Um... Nothing to unbox, but what did we get for Christmas? We got these shirts. We did get these shirts. Mine it says editing, and it's, it's two, VHS machines. two VHS machines. Now Recording and editing off each other. Yeah. Now, I think <laughs> um, we saw this on a video. Somebody had this shirt on, right? Like we were watching a video, and it came up. Uh, and I thought, oh my god, that's so perfect. Because... The first film I ever edited was with two VCRs because <laughs> when I was editing, it, com computers were not good enough to do editing. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, how am I going to do this? So I, what I did is had all the footage on one VCR, like every single piece of footage. And then I had the other VCR ready to record clips. So I would get a clip ready on one VCR, hmm. get the other one ready as well. Press record and press play, and it's like, okay, I got that clip, stop. <laughs> and then I would go to the next clip I wanted to edit in yeah, yeah. and do that. Sounds very tedious. Super tedious <laughs> and very hard because there's time before it starts recording and playing. So mm -hmm. I had to kind of get used to how long the delay was before the 
the spindles sped up. And then <laughs> after that, I, after I got the whole um, film put together to some satisfaction, mm. they weren't like really quick edits or anything, mm. I would do the audio separately. Separately? Because I had to put music on top oh, and stuff, geez. right? So I would dump the audio and computers were good enough to do... <laughs> We're good, good enough to do audio. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I dump all video. the audio and then layer the music on top. Then I would re record again. Back onto the v Yeah. Um, <laughs> with two VCRs. Your, with your hand movements. With there. two VCRs. Yeah. And I would have to sync that up oh my God. as well. Oh, my God. oh, it was terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, star wipes. There is no star wipes. Like, yeah, nothing. No, that would be a video toaster. You need a video toaster. <laughs> I just had two VCRs. That's all I had. <laughs> My resolution for 2024 will be 640 by 480. That's mm. a good one. 240p is also good. Um, I mean, that could be 480i. So that also works out to 240p. Um, I haven't started on my resolution yet. Hopefully soon. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. good. There you know, you go. some things aren't immediate. No, could be they like, don't have to be immediate. I'll do things once a week or mm -hmm. once a month mm -hmm. or every Friday and hasn't had a Friday yet. Yeah. Uh, record and pause, not stop. The good old days. Yeah, exactly. Same as how we did mixtapes. Yeah, recording off the radio. It's like, okay, okay, now. Yeah. <laughs> and then stop. Or, or to, taping um, off TV. Right? Yeah, we had an old VH VHS machine and it didn't have a remote. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you would still change the channel on the TV. But the right. VHS um, had a corded pause button so that you could pause it and cut oh. out the commercials. So we would sit there and, and yell at our dad, really, to, did you hit the pause button? Did you hit the pause <laughs> button? And we were like, ah, oh, you got two seconds of the commercial. Uh. And we have, like, all these old, like, Christmas tapes of, like, kids' Christmas videos that we used to watch in yeah. movies. And we actually the try to actively pause out all the commercials having the commercials from the 80s would actually be cool now well right it's some like, still oh have my them. god these old commercials but at the time it was all about like trying to make yeah, it authentically like a, a contained <clears throat> movie and yeah uh nostalgic I no i do not have a d1 tape deck and i know exactly <laughs> what you're referring to <clears throat> you know what they're referring to no i don't know what a d1 it was is. big a big news story uh, Oddly enough, it's Canadian news story. Really? Oh. Um, that the people who worked on the animated show, animated Canadian show reboot. Oh, reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, made it their mission to uh, redump all the old shows, all the reboot shows in as good a quality as possible. I'm guessing they it's never been released on Blu-ray or maybe even... <laughs> DVD? I, I would have thought DVD, maybe, but, but not better than that. But yeah. they're trying to get, like, master quality digital dumps of the show. Okay. Now, they found the tapes. Yeah. Now, they don't have a deck to play them off of, because apparently the machines that they were using are were cutting edge, and hardly anybody had them. I, well, that doesn't surprise me, because Reboot, I mean, th I guess they... Reboot was pretty ahead of its time it as was. far as animation was concerned. Yeah, very so, ahead of yeah. its time. So they probably had all cutting edge materials. And yeah. Therefore, maybe that first generation of whatever it was, maybe a lot of people didn't adopt it. Mm. So they have no machine to play these tapes on. So they're trying to see if anyone has one that, yeah. that could be used. Oh, wow. And they got a lot of press. So yeah. if anyone has a D1 Hopefully. tape deck, yeah. then uh, but a D1 somebody tape will know about deck. it. I mean, yeah. that, that must be a digital tape format? Um, I doubt it would be digital. Tape? It would probably be a very high qual. I, I didn't read enough into it. Yeah, it interesting. It could be digital, but most likely it's a very high analog. Yeah, high quality. analog quality. Okay. Because things back around then were mostly analog. Yeah. Like really, really high quality analog. Interesting. <clears throat> Twitch wants me to show my new conductor badge. So who am I to argue? What? Yeah, because oh, they eating... all no, they got emotes. Everyone got emotes. Uh, eating noodles. Oh, it's a it, is it a pot sticker eating noodles? What with a bow on its head? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't see uh, from here. If it were analog, you think you could adjust the play speed on any tape reel? Well, it's probably mm -hmm. a certain format of analog. Yeah, I've recorded specifically. Hmm. So you like... don't have one. You can't help them out. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> <laughs> do not have one. <laughs> not even close. Yeah. <laughs> Akafai knows says Carl G. 
Uh, Gamma Devs has said it would probably take less time to re-render the lightwave files. Now that would probably be a better thing to do, but they probably don't have that. The lightwave files? Like go back to the original uh, files and completely re-render them in like 4K. That would be even better. Yeah, maybe but maybe they don't have access to them because anymore. they'd probably do that. Wow, because that'd be probably way faster. Yeah, <laughs> with today's computers and yeah, yeah. Hype uh, nudes. Hype nudes. Mm, not super great name. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> um, so oh, and you got a T-shirt. I did. As well, nobody's mentioned it because you probably had your hands in front of it or the uh, pillow. Yeah, yeah. Double score dungeon. Yep. Um, now that Double is score dungeon. a screenshot directly off of Champ Games. Nice. Um, game. What is it called? <laughs> I want to say Berserk. That's not. No. Uh, uh, not War. Um, Wizard of War. Wizard of War. Yes, there we are. And Thank you, Gamma Death. Yeah, they, Wizard of War. They got it. <laughs> and I, I, I've said to John many, many times. Tanya wants a t-shirt of Double Score Dungeon. <laughs> Double Score Dungeon. <laughs> and we're like the three greatest. or four games past that now. Yeah. From Champ Games. And I've given up on John making a t-shirt. <laughs> so I James doubt made it's... me one. So I made her one <laughs> uh, for Christmas. It's going to be my favorite um, t-shirt So I thought that was a, a cool gift. Double Score Dungeon. And it was just a one-off. So it's not for sale or anything. So John mm. can still make them if he wants. So oh. maybe this will be the incentive he needs to make one. But I don't know if more people would want that shirt or is it just too obscure it's or not that obscure uh, how many how many super fans of uh hey, wizard of gamma War dev and dan avc jumped in right away with the wizard there you War, go. so there you go oh bvg double down comes yeah. with the goods uh apparently d1 stores uncompressed digitized component, component video okay uh, encoded a YCBCR422 using the CCIR. Uh, you copied and pasted that. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's references there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair Along enough. with PCM audio tracks, which probably be stereo, mm. as well as a time code on three quarter inch 19 millimeter cas video <laughs> cassette tape. Three quarter inch. I, that's not the standard. Um, mm. That would be a, a wide three quarters. Has the zero page neon sign always. No, no it's I, pulsing. I changed it for New Year's. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll change it to... A, it has a bunch of settings, actually. How's that color? It also has the, the flashing setting, too, doesn't we'll it? We'll do yellow for tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it nice. has a controller. More like green, but... We can do lighter, darker, all the colors, Different pulsing. settings. Yeah. Yeah, I, I usually just kept it on one color. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kind of green. It is, is it green. still moving? No, it's green. Oh, I thought I set it to yellow. No, no, you set it to green. That's okay. Close enough. Uh, VHS used a half-inch tape. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see. As far as the width of the... Yeah. Yeah. So, and do the colors need to warm up? No. <laughs> no. It does get like does it barely up? warm because yeah, nice there's electricity running through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's time to get uh, on with the first game. Mm -hmm. um, but before we play the game, now this is by Mike Latow, Latom in the if that's how you pronounce it, in, uh, or Latow M. I'm guessing, yeah. not Latom, or it could be Latom. Um, it is an exclusive world premiere. It's a 4K game. Okay. Um, but it is a port of a handheld gaming, a handheld game okay. from 1977. Um, so we're going to play the commercial for this game. Oh, nice. Uh, Love old commercials. Yeah. So we're going to see what this uh, game was marketed like. So let me just get that. Uh, Latom was my name from my email camp from university back in the day. Yeah, I think we asked that a long time ago in the show, like um, people's handles. How old are people's handles oh, yeah. that they use? And it was it was pretty interesting. That'd be a good Some question. Some are probably pretty old for people. Actually, we can ask it right now. Um, yeah, how, how old, old are, are your, your handles? handles? Like your current handles yeah. that you use. I mean, people do switch stuff up from time to time. Yeah. Some things become less appropriate as time <laughs> goes on, too. That's right. People change them. The, the, the handle you like when you're, you know, 13 is probably not the handle you want to use at 45. No, <laughs> so... it may not translate well. Birth. <laughs> Birth. <Yeah. laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Mine would be over 30 years for every tarot collection. Wow. 33 for me. Wow. Yeah. Um... <laughs> okay, so let's uh, get the commercial going. Okay. YouTube. Oh, okay. I think this might work. Okay, 
Here we go. Oh, that's not the right one. That's not the commercial. That's the commercial. Yeah, you got to see a bit of a chapter. there. Double Down, 1996, 28 years. Uh, no poll tonight. I couldn't come up with one. <laughs> it's the digital game that you can take with you anywhere. With the batteries you supply, the light-emitting diode zips across the screen. You try to press the right button to send it back. An automatic readout keeps score. Two people or only one can play. When you play with Blip, you get carried away. And so does Blip. Blip, the digital game from Tomy. <laughs> I almost said that. Uh, it's a digital game. <laughs> By the way. The digital game. <laughs> Not the non-digital game. The light-emitting diode. Yeah. <laughs> they would never <laughs> say that right. now. I think they should put that on all advertising. <laughs> light-emitting diode Using televisions. Using light-emitting diode technology. <laughs> Organic uh, light-emitting diode television. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, so I'm also going to play a bit. I'm going to play oh, this nice. muted. Okay. Uh, this Somebody did an in-depth uh, look at Blip, and they took it apart. So you can mm. see the insides of it. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at uh, the movement mm. and also, and this is from uh, Tech Tangents. So mm. because I'm playing it, I should give them some credit. There you go. <laughs> so you can see it moving there. So I'm going to read some stuff out about it. Blip, the digital game, is a tabletop electromechanical game marketed by Tomy starting in 1977 in the United States. The system can play a two-player game that is very similar to uh, Atari's video game Pong. In Germany, the system was sold under the name blip o -Matic. And you can see there... Wow, it's mechanical. It's a bunch of gears. Wow. Which kind of makes it look randomized. Um, but it's not? The, it's following a pattern? It's, it, yeah, it's following a very long, long yeah, pattern. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And the, wow. only, um, the only thing that is electronic... Wow. ...is the light. Yes. That's it. Even and they, the score they called is it a mechanical. digital game. Well, did, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Involves electricity. Does that make it digital? <laughs> the game is housed in a pla wow. plastic case uh, uh, with a translucent screen. On the screen is a dashed line dividing the half of the screen on either side of the three positions for the okay, ball to there, land. There you go. There's the, there's the pattern. Uh, the upper portion of the case. Yeah, there it is. If you can memorize it, you can win. <laughs> um, the time... It is the timer which provides the motor function to the game. Upon <laughs> the timer dial being turned, a spring is wound, which then, via several gears, drives an arm upon wow. which the LED ball is mounted. The movement repeats after the ball hits each player's side 36 times. So, to beat this game ah. and to be perfect at it, you'd have to memorize a 72-digit... Wow. Uh, pattern. So good luck with that, unless you're a very, very special person. So um, I am really surprised huh. this has not been ported before. It seems ripe to be ported for the yeah. 2600 because of how simple the graphics are, mm. or not simple, but how translatable they are to the 2600. Um, electromechanical. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Fingers count as digits. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, it's a really cool game because it seems so random. It seems like there's some intelligence, yeah. some randomization well, to it, but it's it's just gears, a bunch I of gears. I also love that someone's like, I want to make a pong game, but not an actual like <laughs> like computer pong. I want it to be like a mechanical pong. Yeah. You know, and that's essentially kind of what it is. It's like a mechanical pong pong game. Yeah. Gamma Dev says, so the toy maker really cool. said, let's make Pong, but make, make it, it more, more primitive, primitive yeah. but way more complicated. <laughs> yes. Because you you can't control where the ball is going to the other side. No, but you just control your up one, two, three. You right? control which how to catch it. When yes. you catch it, you get a point. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, this will be available to download after the show. Cool. So if you want to download and play this game, it'll be available on the Atari Age forums. Okay, let's uh, get everything booted up. No flicker, says Carl G. <laughs> uh, no, no, no flicker. flicker. That's good. Where's the sound? It didn't make a sound. You turned it down, did you? No. Um, the Atari box. Oh, oh, it's not plugged into this machine. Ah. Uh,
There we go. At re is blessed. Ready. It's just reassuring. <laughs> oh, green. Sorry, I was trying to resubscribe, and then it started going through this whole series of like <laughs> authentication. And because oh, my phone's no. new, I don't have all the apps installed, and I'm just like, no. oh, why is this so hard? No. So I've given up. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, resubscribe later. Now I don't know if anybody is keeping a list <sighs> of games that use oh. the keyboard controllers. Oh. But these are the controllers that you use to play this game. Of course. Well, it's 23 so, and serve. I don't so know why go. I plugged in the Atari box, because we can't use it. <laughs> so I'm going to unplug the Atari box and plug in the keyboards. Keyboard controller. Fish it all the way through here. Mm. Flip football to boot. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, can you hold this? Oh, the kitties are excited. Are you excited? I know why you're excited. Because we're using keyboard controllers, right, kitties? That's right. Can you can you smash the buttons on the keyboard controllers? I wonder if we could get you to do that. I'm oh. sure I, I'm sure we could, you know, if we we made a ding noise, I bet Atari would just smash his paw down in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So, um this is an exclusive world premiere. Okay, let's boot it up. Oh, that's not what I want. Like this. Go, it's catch. B1, I'm not sure what that is. Um, beta one, I'm guessing. Okay. And what are our controls? Well, let's find out. <laughs> um, let's read about it. The AccuPic 2600 robots get a break from farm work to practice their catching skills. Help them successfully land the ball in one of three possible landing locations, or let them try to do it themselves with a varying uh, four varying AI skill levels, but beware, the red squiffle ball seemingly has a mind of its own <laughs> when traveling through the air. The, the game ends when the first player gets 10 points or when the game clock expires. Hey, 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 hey. None of that. Um, following Electro Ball and Berry Fun, my new game Catch is my third homebrew for the Atari 2600. For my third game, I decided to try and make something using the keypad controllers after multiple suggestions of integrating keypad support for Barry Fun. One big reason I didn't do for that game is because I didn't have enough actual clock cycles to do game logic and read from the keypad. Mm. The artwork for Barry Fun also inspired the robot claw sprite uh, to indicate where the cat uh, to catch the ball, as opposed to the original blip place placement of one, two, three. Game development started in the summer of 2023, was completed with an hour here and an hour there mm. when I had some spare time. Beta 1 was wrapped up at the end of 2023, but it didn't make its debut until on the scene until 2024, mm -hmm. which is today. today. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to let you play one player while I read out some information. So Mike says, hit the select switch. Oh, it's not uh, couch compatible. Uh, he said, <laughs> he... Uh, da, 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 da. I had to use a Y adapter to use the joystick to select the game since Harmony Kart support for keypad selection of games is iffy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just it selected. It can be, I guess. I just unplugged it and then started the game and then plugged it. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, that was related to that. Yeah, okay. That's why, yeah, fair that's why fair that all happened. Okay. Okay, the basic rules of catch. Mm. Uh, press to s Press the serve button on the keypad to launch the ball towards the opposing player. Um, mm -hmm. and the serve button is uh, <laughs> we'll get there uh, 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 the ball will travel to one of three destinations press and hold the button at the anticipated destination of the ball 
If the ball is successfully held for the entirety of its time uh, at the edge of the screen, the ball will be returned to the other player. If the ball has failed to be caught while at the end of its travel, the other player will be awarded a point. Mm. The game continues until the first player reaches 10 points or the mm. game clock reaches zero. So it's 99 right there. Okay. Um, okay, plug in your controllers. On the option screen, use the player one keypad to select the player type, ball speed, ball randomness, and game time. Once ready, press the button corresponding to play game. Uh, there is obviously an overlay somewhere. Um, where are your overlays? Where are your overlays, yes. Uh, uh, I don't think we're in the options screen. No. There we are. Okay. That makes more sense. Player one, player two, 99 seconds. So you can see those are your options. What's so you want to. F, S, T, D? What, what's. We will get there on the option screen use a player one keypad to play uh to select player type so mm. you got one and you so, want me to play one yeah press one okay oh press two two the player two so those are both computers so you want to change one uh the second one back or the first one back to you and i'm guessing that's easy mm. go through them medium hard uh, really hard. <laughs> really hard with a W. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you probably want to do easy to first. Okay. Um, then the ball speed, uh, which is... F, slow, slow fast. 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 Okay. Uh, ball randomness. I'm guessing that it's that one. Random, Random standard. standard. So we'll go with standard for now. Okay. The game time, which is 99 seconds. So press that one. See what options there are. 30, 60, 90. Okay. So let's just do a 30 to start off with. See how long that is. Okay. Very nice option screen. <laughs> I like it very much. It makes it nice and simple. For games with a human player, press one of the keys in the bottom row of the keypad to serve the ball. Mm. Uh, to try and catch the ball at the top, press and hold one of the keys on the top row of the keypad. One, two, and three. To catch the ball in the middle, press and hold one of the keys in the second row. Oh, I see. To catch the ball in the bottom, press and hold okay. one of the keys on this, uh, well, third, it's supposed to, there's a typo here. Um, once the game has ended, press it. Uh. Oh, you've started. Okay. Uh. Well, you know how to play. So those you're catching. So get ready on all three. And oh, I didn't get it fast enough. No, it's tricky. Get ready on all three. You only have one. I would put all three. Yeah, that's probably better. Nice. Oh, you missed. Um, but I'm on the left. Uh, yeah. He tried to catch it, but missed. Yeah. No, he just got But you point. just said you missed. He missed. Oh, did I say you? Oh, yes. No. Okay. No. Oh, I just, I'm not doing fast enough. Um, so at the top is the oh, player's goodness. scores. Then it's the top, middle, bottom row. Then there's the game time, which is 15 seconds. Um... I think we've got all of that. Humans, yep. AI, easy. Least challenging AI mode. The AI will make a random guess where to catch the ball. So easy is like literally the person is, the other side's just guessing where to catch it. <sighs> Medium, the AI will accurately anticipate where the ball will land 33% of the time. The other 66% of the time will make a random guess. AI hard, the AI will accurately anticipate the ball will land 66% of the time. So I would, pr well, how did you do? I don't know. Oh, you didn't see the score. No. Okay. <laughs> you aren't keeping track. Um, and then AI wall, W, the AI will accurately anticipate where the ball will land 100% of the time. Use this mode to effectively play against a wall when you're a player. If both players are in this mode, the game will end uh, in a 0 0 tie if neither player miss. So that will be a successful game against the wall. Oh, that's so hard. Oh, Nostalgic says, what gets red if you hold more than one key down at a time? That's a good question. I don't know if Tanya will do it. Try all three, all at once. Nope. It won't hold. It goes to the them. bottom. It goes to the bottom. If you press all three. Uh, game length, 30, 60, 99, ball speed, either fast or slow, and you're on slow right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're on fast. You changed it to fast. No, I was always on fast. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Did you win? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely stand fast. So you might want to... Oh, you cranked up to medium now? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ball randomization. Ball can be configured to either follow a standard or random pattern. When set to standard, the ball will follow a predictable pattern, looping back to the first point once 35 total back and forths have happened. Each new game will start at a different point of the standard wheel of destinations. When set to random pattern, the ball will randomly be chosen to go to one of three possible locations every time. So, Mike, I don't know if you answered this already in the chat. Did you follow exactly the pattern that the original game did. Oh, Pseudographics makes a good point. The last game score could stay on the screen when you return to the menu. Oh, Mike, Mike Letow did follow the exact pattern of the mechanical game. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Um, Special note, keypad music. On the title screen, both keypads could be made to make your own music. What? Keypad 1 plays the melody for all buttons except for play game. And Keypad 2 plays both bass and percussion. You can use this to entertain your friends and family and play such well-known public domain hits like cro Hot Cross Buns. <laughs> we'll have to do that. Um, uh, console controls. The difficulty switches and TV type switch are not used for this game. Press game select to return to the title screen when playing. Press game reset to start a new game. The game reset can also be restart a game already in progress. The game is fully couch compliant. Excellent. Acknowledgements. This being my third game, uh, everything builds on each other. Without writing the first two games, get, uh, I would not be able to do this one. The game was primarily inspired by multiple requests to add keyboard support to Barry Fine, which was not feasible. I think I read that out. Mm -hmm. Big thank go thanks goes to Daryl Spice Jr. for providing sample code on how to read both keypads. And thanks to various posts on Atari Age Forum for optimization code, how to get the Stella emulator to auto-recognize uh, keypad controls. Thanks to John Calsano, Atari Boy 2600, for the very fun artwork and having his art be the source of inspiration for the backstory behind this game. The AccuPic 2600 robot hand makes a perfect catch sprite. Aw, sprite. Uh, big thanks to the makers of the handheld gaming uh, of the handheld gaming makers of years past for providing a huge inspiration for my game. This is my first port of another game that tried to keep a fidelity of the original as much as possible. A port, which is itself a port of a video game. Why not? With homebrew, everything is possible. As always, a big thanks to my wife, Shelly, for an encouragement and feedback as I develop the game. And I think I have... No? Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, I have some more information here. How you doing? Oh, you're losing. Terrible. Three to five. What Try setting are you on? Hard? Medium. Medium. Oh. Medium. Medium is a lot harder than easy. He's doing random catches. He's, he's thirty-three not. percent of the time. Thirty-three. Yep. Well, yeah, it's it's <laughs> it jumps around, so sometimes you get faked out a little. Oh, Carl D says I hit it, and I don't think I'm hitting it hard enough or fast enough. Oh, you can hold it down the whole time. Well. Are you holding it? No. Oh, you, you can. You hold have to it. guess at it. Why would I hold it down the whole time? You, no, you can, can guess. No, you can hold down one. Oh, I know, but why would I hold down one the whole time? Well, just so you don't have to do it perfect no, timing. No, because you have to... They're so hard to push. Oh. Like. Oh, I see. Um, let's see. I did some additional space-saving optimization, switching from sleep macro command to delay X cycles macro to do a loop to wait for each line of the keypads to be read. Also use some delay time to generate some random numbers. Added in an option to not read the keypads for a certain situation, when a player scores, for example, as well as to add support for the computer to decide what key to press and not have the human override it. My optimized keypad reading subroutine can be downloaded here. So he'll uh, provide the code in the post after the show. This game gave me some incentive to buy a used copy of Blip from eBay for further study to uh, to closely study it. The mechanical construction of the game is quite interesting. It essentially operates on a wheel, and after a certain period of time it eventually loops around to repeat that same pattern. One of the options in the game is to use the exact same pattern or use the one as completely random. The original game is also really hard, and I think some of the movements of the ball, especially near the edge borders, are ridiculous. 
I also did a pseudo adaptation of the ball movement, having it be a little squirrely as it travels to not make it blindingly obvious where it is going to end up. Mm -hmm. But also not to make it completely unpredictable. On the original game, the instructions explicitly say anticipate where the ball will land, as if they knew it's just a complete crapshoot from the player's perspective where it will land. Depending on how my concentration goes, I vary between being able to catch the ball and not catch the ball, so some skill is involved. So how how are you finding catching it? Hard. <laughs> Hard. Now, where are you looking? Like just before? Just before because it jumps around. Right. So it's almost pointless looking beforehand because it's completely unpredictable. I guess if it's traveling on the bottom, it'll never jump too, right? Mm, will it, it goes, jump from it the waves. bottom to the top? It waves a little bit. So. But will it jump too? Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll go right from the top to the bottom when it's in the middle. I don't see it happening. No. 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 Yeah. What no, do you mean two? Sir, what do you mean two? Once it crosses the middle. Oh, it goes, but it always goes through the middle, doesn't it? When it passes through the middle, it's either on the top, middle, or bottom. Now, if it's on the bottom when it's hitting the middle, it doesn't. It, it will not jump. The middle in the middle. Look at look at where it passes oh, it in the middle. Oh, always goes to the middle. Yes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so that doesn't help. Never mind. <laughs> it always crosses in the middle. Yeah, I haven't been watching. I won! Yay! Yay! Now, <laughs> now you have to do hard. It takes some. It takes some practice. Uh, even practice is hmm. okay. Graduated to hard. It's gonna now. be so hard now. Because <laughs> <laughs> really, you're not playing against. The opponent you're playing against yourself not to miss the ball the opponent is just giving you more time or less time to do it based on how many times they catch it yes you're playing against yourself um <laughs> the default options from the game load up are as close to the original as i could get two human players a fast ball which travels roughly at the same speed as original follows the wheel pattern of the original and plays for 99 seconds, or how I wound up the game. I was getting games ranging from the low 70s to mid 120s in seconds, but I think this is a game best played in short bursts. I've also added in the ability to do shorter games, a slower ball, completely randomized ball placements, and four varying skill levels, from AI that just makes a guess to an AI that will be perfect each time. Skills in between. Uh, my plan is to have this in beta, hence the B1 uh, cat catch title. Then mark it complete by removing the B1 on the catch sometime in 2024. Due to lack of space, I don't have a good space to put the version number on the screen. But then again, most 4K titles back in the day did no such thing. Now I must say, for a 4K game, this is incredible. Having a very detailed title screen. Just having a title oh, screen yeah. in a 4K game is always amazing. But having a title screen, having a game, having text... Having multiple text on the title screen, having sounds you can trigger from the keyboard, that's absolutely amazing. It really, really is. Yeah. I can't really hear the sound. I'm going to turn it way down. That's better. Um, please enjoy. If you've wished for another homebrew game that used keypads like an arcade controller, your prayers have been answered. Using keypads certainly limits the game's availability across all available platforms. Not playable on Javatari, not playable on Argon, currently unplayable in the 2600 Plus. But it was an interesting exercise making a game for this particular controller. Indeed. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All that's missing is the sound of the whirring gears. Mike Latow says. Thank you for following temporary name 68769767. Okay. Oh, wanna play? I yes, wanna play? I want to play the computer. Okay, it's fast and hard, so there you go. It is fast level. Filth. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I pressed it, but too late. It um yeah, uh, you do have to anticipate oh it. God. It's not good enough to hit it right as it hits. Oops, press wrong one. <laughs> um, I find it actually easier. Because I oh find them God. so hard to push. They are. Uh, you oh. can. Uh, what? So the way I like to do it is 
first, second, third, and push this button, oh. it, it almost makes it easier to hold because they're so hard to push, those buttons. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, it That's is a little better. easier. It is a little easier to wrap your hand around it. What am I playing, hard? Yes. Oh, God. oh it's hard. <laughs> I pressed it! <laughs> Too late. Yeah, you'll say that to yourself a lot. I swear <laughs> I pressed that. But you probably just pressed it as it hit. You have to actually I, get it ahead. You have to hold it, too. I it, pressed that. You have to push it and saw hold. It It activated. You have to hold it. Mm. If you if you let go too quickly, you also lose the point. What? Yes, you have to hold it. Keep it held down for, like, two After or three it's seconds. Catch? Yes. At, oh, my God. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> no, nice. I'm sure that's how it works. <laughs> oh, he messed good. Okay. I'll hold it down now. I didn't know that. I was just like clicking it. Mm. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! <laughs> the original handout also did this. It's a port after all. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's No, it should be true to the original. Okay. I, I didn't do super bad, so I'm gonna... Yes, you also going. need to hold down the button for the entire time the ball is on your side. Oh, okay. That's... Well, I mean, not not the whole time, ah. but... Yeah, you do need to hold it. Okay, that was what I was missing. You have to ah. hold it until it leaves, if, if that makes sense. Yes. Until it leaves. Because it does leave. Because you're hold... Yeah, you're catching and holding catching the ball. Up. Come on, dude, miss. Oh, per monster. Mm. That was a good round. Come on, keep missing. I find your brain, oh, damn it. your brain clicks into it and then it clicks out of it. There's something funny about this <laughs> game where, because it's a very last minute Press decision, that. very last minute decision to push the button. Yeah. And then sometimes you, you get in the mode where it's working and then you play it and then you keep missing. So pressing one and two results in two. Yeah, it Pressing goes one down. and three results in three. Pressing two and three results in three, or one, two, three from the top bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, hard is hard. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, too late. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mike Latow had to give it time for the analog dial to roll the score, right? Yep. <laughs> oh. So it does stay on the um, the score screen for people who are wondering. Like, if you don't press anything, it shows 10 mm. and, and, the, and the timer. <sighs> okay. I got to beat hard. Oh, I pressed it. Mike nope. says, to continue my development trend, uh, my next game should be 2K in size, but uses the driving controller and the Omega <laughs> Race booster grip. <laughs> Do it! Now, <laughs> try. <laughs> when you when you missed, did you find you were pressing it too late, or were you pressing the wrong one? Too late. That's but what sometimes, I, sometimes I, I hit, hit the wrong one. I'm like, I think it's two and it's three. But if I push it just as it hits, that's what you, I'm doing. you won't get it. You won't get it. You have to anticipate oh, it. I pressed the wrong one. I'm yeah. Wrong. It's hard. Ah! Oh, I pressed it too late. <laughs> it's a more challenging pong. Ah! Oh, <laughs> it is harder than pong. Yeah, miss. You better miss. Yes. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> eight, eight to ten. That's my best. Okay. Okay, let's play two player. Okay. Now we're gonna do slow. Let's uh, I think, yeah, I think. You have to do it. Oh. And then. 
Two peoples. Oh, yeah, two peoples. Uh, slow, random. I changed it to random. Yeah. Uh, 99 sure. seconds. Play game. Yep. All right, who's got it first? Me. All right. Testing one. out my buttons. Oh, slow is too slow. <laughs> slow is way too oh, slow. Oh, I'd let go of it. Oh. <gasps> this is kids mode. It's too slow. This is kids mode. We will not finish this. It's going to run out the clock. <laughs> oh! Ah, you let go. You have to keep holding it. <laughs> oh. Pseudographic says this could have an enhanced version where you can choose how many pads you control. <laughs> that would be very hard. You could put four in because there are actually four buttons um, mm. vertically. Um, and then just make the star like a specific one to mm. serve. Um, but adding more in would be very confusing, trying to press it. I like the idea that you can pick any of them in the row because then nice. you can you can move your fingers around a little bit if if you don't like the if it's not comfortable. <laughs> now James knows how Atari feels when doing treat oh. time. Oh, I can't get the button. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay, go. What? Oh, I have to serve it. Ah, uh, <laughs> not holding it long enough. Ah. Uh. It makes sense that the other person has to serve it. The holding is longer in the slow. It is. Oh, why did I do that? I wonder <laughs> if the big, like, blue kids controller is easier to press the buttons. Running out the clock. Running out the clock. Oh, oh my god. It was getting dodgy. <laughs> oh. oh, these buttons are so stiff. <laughs> they are stiff. You have to push them really hard. And like this is how they are. Like they're not they're not bad. They haven't gone bad. They're just no, that hard. They're just stiff. Oh, no. Six seconds left. And I'm winning just barely. Two. Oh, yes. I, if I hadn't screwed up that last one. I can't, uh, let's see. I wonder what the most limited hardware for the 2600 Omega Booster can Genesis substitute or Star Raiders keyboard. Well, mm. all the keyboards are the same. So if you have one keyboard, you have them all. You yeah. have the big kids one, you have the Star Raiders, you have this, it's mm. all the same. Uh, Captain Classic, I figured joysticks are plentiful. Definitely joysticks first. Then definitely paddles. Definitely driving you next. Mm -hmm. um, definitely the keyboards next. Mm. Trackball, yes. I think that's definitely next. Omega Booster. See, I don't have an Omega Booster, but I have a, a track, track and, and field. field. But I know that track and field controllers are very Hard to, hard to come by. They're really expensive. I looked them up the other day. They're really? Like $150. Where did, when did you get yours? A long time ago? or mm, 92. Okay, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's a long time ago. 92 to 94. Wow. Okay. That's where I acquired all my like from, classic stuff. Like the classic stuff from um, it was my value, garage sales, right? Value Village. I never went to garage sales. Uh, flea markets and Value Village. Gotcha. Okay. I just went like every week to Valley Village for years. Really? They had this huge bin of 2,600 games and in television. They just mixed them all together. Yeah. And I just, like, I don't have that one, buy. I don't have that one, buy. Wow. Every single time. Smart. <laughs> I just bought everything. Well, yeah. Mind Link never came out. Joyboard. Ooh, that would be at the bottom, I think. What's a Joyboard? It was an add-on for Amiga's game a snowboarding game oh i've never seen one in real life yeah yeah they're out there mm. um there's a game for the 2600 a homebrew game yeah called 
Snow, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like a meditation game, and you actually sit on the joy board. Oh, funny. And you have to keep steady. Gotcha. And it was like one copy was released of it. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's play fast. I somehow have one. <laughs> says <laughs> Really? A joy board? Wow. wow. They had multiple games for the joy board. Yeah. Booster Grip just had one. Mm. Yeah, it depends how popular those games were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the fast. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to be a massacre. Oh no. <laughs> it's going to be nine to nine, and then whoever gets the ten. Oh my god. <laughs> we, shouldn't have played, we shouldn't have played the slow game. I pressed it. Oh my goodness, I pressed it too. Pressed it. Look, still holding it down. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'm just, just a oh. millisecond late. Oh, me too. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on! Ooh. Oh, damn it. No. No! Damn it. Woo! Um, I would <laughs> want a medium speed. Yeah, it's a fast is really hard and slow is really easy. I'm sure I'm sure Mike Latow said it as it was on the game. Like there's probably a slow and a fast, but a medium would be beneficial because the fast is really fast. Really hard. <laughs> and the slow is quite a bit easier. So it like almost really needs easy. a middle ground. Yeah. But um yeah, it's pretty cool. It's mm. I kinda like the fast though. The fast is challenging. Oh fast is yeah. fast is a good hard speed. Like, it's perfect. <laughs> Mike Littell, I can look into that, see if I can find more space. Squeeze those bits. <laughs> Squeeze Squish those them down. bits. Squish them like a fluffy cat. Yeah. Squish that cat. Do you have an M already? See, I already have an M on random. Random? No, you can't reuse that because it's one sprite. Okay, let's uh, do fast again. Do you want to try standard or... It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's only, it's only for... Do you want a shorter game or... Uh, no, no, no. Okay. No. Oh, I always have trouble with the one for some reason. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh my god. Oh. That one legitimately pressed the wrong button. Uh oh. Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, this is a terrible oh. game. No. Like, I'm, oh. I, am, I am improving. <laughs> I had, wow. Fun to watch. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. One more. One more? One more, and then we'll... Okay. Then we'll be done. Oh, God. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, am, is it even hitting it? But I think I'm just, just a millisecond too late. You really have to anticipate it. <sighs> oh, come on! Not anticipating fast enough. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yum, 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 yum. <sighs> Some reason the middle is the worst. Yeah. Yes, the middle is her weakness. <gasps> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, I'm just totally okay. messed up I'm gonna, now. I'm going to try the computer on hard. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Hold on.
What what is the song that you wanted us to play? A terrible song. Uh, da, 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 hot cross buns. Okay, let's see if I can find that. side not used to this oh, no. Serving to the top. Oh, damn it. Damn it. So hard. Um, oh, but. Metallatari has blip. Oh, how do we, is it Metallatari or Metalatari? Or you just changed your name because I've said it for many years now. <laughs> uh, great game. Have a good night, uh, um, Mike Latow. Thank you so much for uh, the game. I'm guessing it's now. I did play Hot Cross Buns. Hot what? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, I failed it hard. I, I think hard if I hard. do it enough, I can, I will be able to get it. Um, is that one of the few possible songs you can play in the TIA with no bum notes? It's <laughs> it's right on. Those notes are perfect. Or at least Pretty they're good. spaced apart perfectly. Yeah. They may not be pitch perfect notes. Yeah. Yeah. The last one, Cross of Ata Atari and Metallica. I can't believe it took me to today <laughs> to say it correctly. Metallatari. Metallatari. Oh. Okay. Do you want to? I like Metallatari. That'd be a good name for a cat. Metallatari. Metallatari. Yeah. Are you a Metallatari? Yes, you are. You're a Metallatari. He needs a spiked collar now. Oh, he does. And some spiked uh, uh, armbands. <laughs> hey, do you want that? The leather jacket? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah so really really good game um oh, oh yay. yay is it time it's, it's time. time for the treats for the cats yum 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 now all right sprite had a sweet last show oh my goodness he won three plus three times in a oh. row um so let's see if atari's been practicing his uh skills so let's start up the predictions yeah are you are you getting better with the bells Can thank you so much pseudographics thank you the betting has started so if people want to click on predict and pick their cat we have sprite in one corner atari in the other he's pawing oh. He's party pawing at, at the container. Yeah. So he is eager to play. Eager to play? Are you guys hungry? So yeah. what you do is you pick your pick which cat you want and by what margin. You think they're going to win. Either one or two points or three plus and yeah. just dominate the other cat. Um, and then you pick how much you want to bet. Now, some people do it strategically. Yeah. Wait to the last minute and put a 10. <laughs> on whatever ten, people aren't voting on. 10 points for. on on the empty Empty slot, yeah. Which is a which is a tactic because you don't lose much, but you can win a lot. Yeah. See, so right now Atari three plus is at zero. Mm -hmm. Nobody's put it on there, so that would be a very rare win. Can you flip over the uh, screens? Because oh, I think you can oh, see the uh, predictions on the other screen. Kind of. Three out of. Four. No kittens. No. Getting excited go. there. 
All right. All right. So Atari for by one to two people have a lot of faith in it oh, Atari this they time. I think he's he's uh, been that training. He's, got, he's a little hungrier for yeah. for the treats this time around. Could be. Interesting. He just, he just tried to leave the room. Oh, oh, it's readjusting. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> don't if that does any, says anything. <laughs> I think some one person might have been put on th Sprite Sprite three plus, which is actually a pretty good bet. It is a good bet. Yeah. Sprite is pretty good at this. He'd got three plus three times in a row I last, know, last on our, time on our New Year's show he does tend to be the favorite oh Dan, dan's going three plus for sprite that yeah. is safe it's very very safe oh some more people oh some more people throwing <laughs> down on three plus <laughs> there we not go. much but a uh, little but, bits here and there that's yeah. all good how much time is there left oh ten, oh ten oh more someone put a hundred on atari for oh, three plus last seconds are you feeling hungry oh he's licking his lips it's a good licking sign his lips and the time is done oh, okay one person put three plus all okay right Three plus for Are Atari. you ready, cats? Let's Are you ready? Are you happy? Are, Are you, you ready? Happy? And you know what? Ring your bells. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. And oh, Atari. Atari's off to the races. And then Sprite, Sprite close behind. Close behind. So Atari is eager today. And he was right on the bell first hit. Now Sprite's very accurate. Um, oh, a little soft, but he got there in the end. Oh, Atari has been practicing. Uh -huh. That was a direct hit. Yeah. Direct hit. So I think uh, Atari's vying for some... Oh, he missed. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, double oh, hit. Oh, oh, double three, hit. Three, three. They are literally neck and neck. <laughs> that was a chimed response. It was. Both of them together. Double response. Yeah. Oh, he's licking his paw. Oh, oh Atari, Atari got it. that one. And Sprite's distracted. I still can't get it, oh. and he's got it. Sometimes so, his paws are too silky. It slides Atari's right in the past. Lead. Oh, a little harder. There you go. Atari's fully Atari. in the lead now. All right. Oh, well. Sprite's still chewing on it. That's unbelievable. He usually just inhales it. Yeah. Can Atari get double? Oh, oh. two ahead. Oh, oh my Atari. God. What a huge upset. Two ahead. Uh, Sprite's caught up a little bit, but will Atari keep going? He does. He's still two ahead. <sighs> Three plus is a long stretch, but it could happen now. Oh, Sprite is now caught up. Atari hit it. Harder. Oh, go. good kitty. He's maintaining his two plus lead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Sprite is caught up to one behind. So we're in the one two range. Oh, we're still in the one two range for Atari. It is game point now. It is Atari's game to lose. But he's not going to. Oh, it's 9-8. Atari just has to ring that bell one more time. And Yay! It's, it. it's over. It's over. What it's an over. upset. Atari Cat. So all those people who, who had a feeling, yeah. had that feeling Atari was going to win this they time right. round. Good job. Wow. How did you guys know? <laughs> uh, okay. We're doling good out job, the, Atari. Doling out the points. Way to go. Two for Atari. Oh, damn. <laughs> there go. They're on my 750. <laughs> Nostalgic's happy. Let's see who won. Oh, very nice. 57%. Two people. Ooh, wow. It was just a lot of money put on it. Yeah. Al Nefer's a big winner and splits the pot with Nostalgic. Nice. 14,000 points. Oh, just one paw lick of taking it all at three plus. It was. If he just did that paw lick one more time, <laughs> he could have got it. Oh, it's hard, cat. Good job, Atari. Good kitties. Good, good kitties. kitties. You're good kitties. Yes, I'm you are. I'm going to open the door and yes. I'll switch over to the next game. Oh. Doesn't matter how many you win. It's all treats. It's all treats. No one's counting. Well, we are. We are. They well, are. They <laughs> They're just happy to play. Okay. Uh, let's take that keyboard control out of the second one and put it in the Atari box just for fun. Thank you. There we go. And let's switch over to the 2600. And we're going to be playing Zed Keep. Now, I have no idea where that Zed name Keep. comes from. It sounds very much like an RPG. It does, but it is not. If you can go down to today's date. I'm like, what is today's and date? And this is by Kshishtov Kluchek, um, who's done absolutely amazing games uh, oh my god it's very loud here and for you out there with some awesome music as he always very, very includes awesome in his music. games 
Um, so this is, as you'll see, inspired by the amazing Yoomp for the Atari 8-bit. Now this is a game I never, ever, ever thought somebody would port to the 2600 mm. because I thought it would be impossible mm. because of how it's, it's a 3D perspective tunnel coming at you oh, with that. a bouncing ball. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I never thought this would happen uh, for the 2600. So, uh, and this came in first place in the Atari 2600 Silly Venture Competition that took place uh, a couple months ago. Mm. Um, there are no, in there's no information. It just says a game for the Atari 2600. That's all the information he's given. It is very self-explanatory, but it says the chip head track is a cover of Zip Head by Hoffman. And it plays beautifully. It's so fast. And the bouncing ball is gorgeous. Now, I, th I played it a little bit, and I think there's only one special um, um, spot, and it'll do a big jump. It'll jump far. Um, and it's slightly different platform to jump on when you see it. It kind of wiggles a bit. Okay. I mean, it's all very wiggly, but because it's using um, Playfield. Oh Nostalgic says, wow. Yeah, wow indeed. ITC, 20 seconds latency, Re reload, that's too long. If you just restart the stream, um, I believe it, it um, resets your latency. Uh, Charles Whelan, insane. Yeah, Christoph, um, is that what I said? Shishtoff. Oh, that, that flickered there. Oh, did it? Yeah, flickered Did for it a drop? Second. Did it go blip? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. He has some... He has some fixing. Oh my gosh, this is so frantic. <laughs> it's very fast. There's there's the bounce. You made it! Yeah! <laughs> World <laughs> one done. Ooh, that that that's intense. Yeah. Woo, that's intense. Um gorgeous, gorgeous graphics. Uh awesome soundtrack. Okay. You started it? No, it started on itself. Yeah, it just timed out, I guess. I didn't touch anything. So this one has a lot more bounces. Now, I believe on the second one, there are ways to, like, miss a bounce and, and die. Really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. He's the guy that's currently making the impressive Doom clone for the Atari Amiga SD. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's so skilled. He makes the 2600 sing. I'm really uh, looking forward to him finishing up Robo Mechanic. That's been in the works for a very, very long time. I don't think there's any like power ups or anything like that. I, all I've seen is is jumps, M probably because of the limited ability to um, display them on the screen. Like you don't have oh, oh. wrong way. Oh my gosh. Oh. Want to play? Uh, no, no, you keep going. I guess you get another try out. Oh yeah, you get. No, your score started over, so it's it's like starting a new game. Oh my goodness, that's. It's, it's definitely challenging. I think it does go <gasps> faster than Yoomp, but that oh. might... You can move back. Oh, you missed the jump. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, here. First little bit is... Man, it is intense. You have to be thinking. <laughs> yeah, you have to watch. You have to watch for the, um, the jumps, too. Because they are kind of subtle. Yeah, they are subtle. And a bit... I... I'm sure. Oh, nope. I thought right that off. was a bounce. Nope. Um, it I'm does sure go he... fast. The, there are different. There's different songs, there and are. it said slow, medium, and fast. So I wonder if that affects the speed of the game. Oh. Did we, so we should try the other songs. There's the synthwave you... ones. That's slow. Yeah. So. Which one are you on? Fast. It, it's the first one, which is Chiphead, and it's fast. Oh, okay. It's just one sixteenth the resolution of you, but it still works. It does. You <laughs> yep. know what's happening. You know how it works. Yep. It's all very like visible what's going on. It looks great and, and the way he has the three dimension like the three dimensional squares. Yep. How they Evolve. change in perspective <laughs> as they come towards you, I think, works it's really, very, really well. Very cleverly done. No. Oh, I missed the jump. Yeah, you have to get Damn right to the it. middle. Damn it. 
Is there, is there a reason player graphics aren't being used in the center point of the tunnel to improve resolution of distant platforms? I, I thought of that when I first saw it, and I think it's because everything moves towards the player uh, character, and he's already using it, um, and he didn't want to do any flicker, because you could do that, like, indicate a jump Yeah. Um, with a different color, maybe, um, but I don't think it's possible. I gotta watch out for the wiggly one. It's coming up. Somewhere. There it is. Yeah, you have there to be in is. the middle. You have to be in the middle of, of those three. Oh, okay, that helps. Yeah. There it is. Oh, now it's doing it all the time. At least there's a pattern. Well, that one's not a pattern. No. That one's just extended. You have to find past. the longest one, really. Oh, it's bouncy time! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! It's bouncy circles. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Level two. The ball never crosses the center point. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not talking about the overlapping graphics with the ball. The ball never crosses the center point. Yeah. Oh. But what would you want to put in the center? Just because it would just go away like you everything moves from the center outward and it would cross the ball once it uh, moves to the center this one's just a path oh no this bounces oh my god oh my god <laughs> I feel like I'm at a rave. I need some glow sticks. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised it works as well as it's, it does. It works incredibly well. It's very responsive too. Oh yeah. You definitely want to work your way up to this level. Oh my goodness. Because you kind of have to know what things look like. Be the end soon. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it was over two. Oh, it was two. Oh. Song is a bop. Yep. Let's change the song out. Yeah. So it says, "Music chip head fast, slow medium." So let's do the slow. Try this. Yeah. I doubt it changes the speed. Just. The... Yeah, it does. Oh, it goes with the tune. It does. So Makes I've been sense. Playing, I've been playing on super. We've been well, playing on hard mode. Hard mode, but it, it works. I mean, the chiphead tune is from a demake of the PC demo chiphead. Oh. Oh. oh yep, yeah, it did that it to me one okay. time too. Well, I did tag him in the Twitter post about this game. Oh yeah. So hopefully he'll see. The, the video play? and yeah. see it um, drop out. Because he'll know exactly what's going on on the screen at that point. Um, he hasn't been on uh, the Atari Age forums in a while. So... You wouldn't see the post there about me playing the game. And the music very important in this game. It is, because it's the rhythm of, of the landing. Yes, because you know once it hits, you can move your... Um... I mean, it's also visual, too. You get through the level faster. Oh, my God. It does mess you up a little bit. It jumps. does. <laughs> Some of the best music. Um, uh, in his robo mechanic game, it's also amazing. Okay, one of these is going to be two over. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, 
guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Next level. I mean, I am on the easiest speed. We'll try the medium one too. Yeah. Actually, I'll do the medium for this because I, yeah. I think I think there's only four levels. Uh, uh, no, five. five. Okay. Nope. They, yeah. Overrun. Dig in, dig in the music. Whew. <laughs> and it's only medium. It's uh. It plays with your eyes, this game. Damn it. I got messed up because one was coming. Yeah. I thought it might have been a double jump. Yeah. Render Ghost says, I'm absolutely going to need to play this. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's right 800. This does rock. It is unbelievable. I'm really game. enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying watching you play it, too. <laughs> Because it's good music. Luckily, the, the longest you'll have to go is two moves. Actually, what? Ooh, what happened? No, you had to go to the left, I think. What? <laughs> you hit it, you hit a blank spot. Oh. There was one earlier on the left. I think so. Oh, boy. Could have been wrong, but I think it's so. tricking me. enough? What's happening there? I don't know. Let me do one more time, then we'll go to level five. Okay. <laughs> because I don't know what's going on there. You can try it at the slower level. Uh, slower and faster aren't really easier, I guess. You know, well, the slower gives Fast you time to hard. think about it. Fast <laughs> is really hard. Taking this game back to 1977. Blown <laughs> people's like, minds. What's going on? It's 3D. Uh, oh gosh, what do I do? I don't know what's happening. Oh, you just click on them. Click on their name. I don't know what's happening there. I was also distracted. Can you, can you, here. Oh, it's right there. Thank you. Control minus. It's going off the screen. Level five. Band? Yep, they're right. Hooray! We don't no want advertising. No. We, we get, don't want followers. We we get our own followers. We don't need to pay for them. This one is hard. It is. You have to be on the right path. The longer path. You have to look to see where the longer path is. Oh god. By the looks of it. Uh, oh. Uh, there's a there's a weird path there. There is a weird path. There's like a jump that I'm missing. I think you have to go over earlier? Like get on the other path. Yeah. yeah. Oops, that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too small. I can't read that at all. Can you make it bigger, please? Is there... What is this? Do, 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 do. Control plus. Oh. Is there any information on the cartridge type? What? 
Um, I can find out. Let's see. Okay, you play. is a 32k f4 oh you have to go dun, dun, over twice i think that's what it is i'm gonna miss it May not be enough cycles left to use the play field, zero missiles, etc. No, no arm. It is like straight up 6502 code. Oh, oh you missed the bounce. Uh, do you need a double bounce to get over twice? Nope. But you, it didn't hit before you moved. So oh, you moved be yeah. before I, I hit. Okay. Yep. The thin lines at the top the bottom of the play area gradient that goes all the way across. That's pretty cool. I wonder how that was done. That would be background. So he's, he is changing um, <laughs> the background color every every line at some point. He's changed the background color. Oh, this I is, did it again. This is very tight code. And I'm guessing... Let me just see that again. He's using both player characters for the ball, of course. Um, and he's updating the play field, asymmetric play field. And he's changing the background um, color per line. So there's a lot going on on the screen. Stop it. Whatever you're doing. I can't. I think I have to go over twice, but I miss it every single time. I oh, just no. want to try it one more time. Climbing sprite alert. <laughs> yes. You're being naughty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know you're naughty. <laughs> He's like upset that he lost last round. Except when you're turning, it looks like a uh -huh. symmetrical. I... Is it always symmetrical? I don't think it is. You're not thinking fourth dimensionally. You've got a real problem with that. <laughs> Time? Isn't that fourth dimension time? It is. <laughs> that is, that yep. is. You I think have you to, have to move twice over before that I one. I think you have to move twice over. Because it's not the jumping one. Yes. It's a, it's just a normal It's just one. so hard to remember <laughs> to do that. It is. Uh, yeah, you just didn't hit it. You did the same thing <laughs> I did. You have to now I'm anticipating. Time it. Time it. Funny thing, in this game, only uses two controls. It's left and right. No. Ah! You have to go. One, two. One, oh, two. Before that one. I know. It's just... Ah. Mm, I know. To hit, oh, my God. Bounce. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, so no force double jump on fire. Uh, no, there's there's no fire button on this. Just, it's just left shifting and right. it, yeah. That was my fault. This is not easy. This level hard. level four is easier, but it's still very hard. This is really, really hard. hard level five. No. Uh, oh, 
Oh, Ivory Tire says, pretty sure you need to use the right side path as that looks to be a jump icon while the other isn't. So you have to go to the right. Oh, okay. I'll, I'm going to go to the right. There. Oh. Oh, oh. left. You're right. Oops. Oh. You're right. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you, ITC. We were, we were missing that. Oops, now I'm double, guess double guessing everything. Yep, I have to look for the wiggly ones. There's a wiggly one. No, 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 no there's jumps in the wrong place. Oh, no. this is super hard. No, you have to. This is pure memorization at this point. Uh, kind or of. Or just really fast uh, reaction. I'm only trying to figure out whether it's yeah. repeated, but it's not. Mm. There are things on the left that are different than the right. You can see it right there. Well, it is asymmetric too, so. See, that is a wiggly one on the right and not on the left. Wiggly one. I don't know. But there's a spot coming up where I there's, I have to avoid. Let's see ah! that. Yeah. I have to avoid one. Yeah. A jump. I have to avoid yeah. a jump, which is unusual. Oh, just didn't hit it. A couple more tries and we will move on. This is hard as hell. Because there's a whole field of them. And you're like, I don't know. There. Yes! By pure chance, though. Pure chance. I have no idea what I did right, let's say. <sighs> oh! What are you supposed to do there? You just... Uh, do you, you have to I hit I have to, them. like, miss one and then go back? Oh, maybe. Oh, my God. That's impossible. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, unbelievable game. It's amazing. I don't, I never thought this would be possible in 2600. <laughs> it's amazing, yeah. Yeah. And you look at it and you go, oh, that's kind of blocky, but it's good enough to be able to see what's going on. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the next game, which is Button, which we have an exclusive update that was just passed to me hours before the show. Hours. At RE Plus. So let's switch out. Just one second. There we go. Button, button. Who's got the button? This is done by Lilipoit Jampion. Jampion? Oh my god, this name. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas Carlson. That's his real name. Okay. But his pseudonym is is really hard to say. Even though I've got it I phonetically spelled, spelled out, out, it's yeah. still hard. I need to no. redo that phonetics. Um, okay. It says block breaking, wall jumps, wall sliding, double jumps, in-game music, portals, spikes, and a button. Nice. 20 days of intense hyperfixation. <laughs> Controls. Press against wall to wall slide. Press against wall and jump to do a block breaking wall jump. Uh, music TIA of John Carpenter's Bomb the Bass, which is not in this version. It was in the le last version. Okay. Because that was a built-in TIA track in one of the trackers. So okay. this is an updated version of the music that's okay. not on the Atari 8 forums. Okay. But will be. Um, so load up button. Uh, this build is from today. It's a 32K game. Other games by uh, Jonas is Chase, Demo Platform. Er, uh, rail slider and walls of near Nibiru. So I would practice on this level. So those are teleporters. So and if you go through the blue, it teleports you. And if you wall jump off a block, it'll destroy the block. Except on the except on the outside, because it doesn't want you to exit the level. And that'll take you to the next level, the button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So it took me a while to go, oh, the teleporter's in the block, and you have to break open the block. How, so do, you, how do you break? 
You have to wall jump off of the block. I thought I did. How do you wall jump again? You have to press against it. There you go. Oh. Dead. Got it, though. Nostalgic said this has some really smooth jumping motion. Yeah, this is... The controls in this are so tight and so good. Animation's good. It's super, super smooth. The music's great, too. This is brand new music. Uh, it is also by... Uh, Glafauk, G-L-A-F-O-U-K. Oh, there you go. Just have to break open one more. Oh, almost. Oh, goodness. You have to wall jump and then... I know, you have to slide on it. Ah! Uh, Markiana says, I made it to the scrim, now I'm eagerly waiting for the solution. Oh, well, gosh. the doing of the solution is harder than the solution in this one. Because all you have to do... Oh, one more. Well, oh, actually, you could break the one beside it and just fall into it. No, you have to, you have to, you have to slide down it. Oh. It's not, it's not as easy as you think it's going to be to... There you go. Oh, ah. no! Get... No! Oh, no! no. It's, it's, it's the, it takes a little bit of, oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, no, it just takes a little bit of, you're not getting that joystick. <laughs> no. And look at that screen, screen transition too. Uh, no, no, your safety block. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, Nostalgic also mentioned that. Yeah, the screen transition. Oh, gosh. You oh, really my wanna... God, it's so hard. Okay, calm down. <laughs> I'm just like all over the place. Oh my god, just getting up there, because you double jump in the air. I wonder if I can double jump straight up. Uh, I have to practice that. Practice it here. Yeah. So you can double you jump straight up. You can. Uh, is it high enough to do a double jump straight up? I've always wanted more platform games with double jumps and wall jumps. And this one added an even more bigger element of breaking blocks Why on wall so jumps. Hard? This should not be so hard. Nostalgic says, it's clever implementing a whole floor of spikes by having them only directly below you. Actually, that's a good point. Because in the 2600, you can't do a full floor <laughs> spikes. You have to do what's done here. Like, you could do, put three there, but this is the only way to implement a full... Nice! Oh. No! Oh, God, I gotta practice that. Audio is about half a second before the video. Let me fix that. There's been some dropouts, and um... are you talking about us or the game? I'll fix both. Oh my god, it's so floaty. This is killing me. You guys, okay. Oh, why are we gone? Come on. Come on back. There we go. Should be fixed now. You've been spaced. Yeah, there is space behind us. There's little stars behind us. Oh. Are we good now? Give us a thumbs up. Oh my god. Oh, you made it to level three. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen this level. I couldn't pass level two. Oh, it's over. Oh, no. Still going. Oh, no, I have passed. The, oh. I have made it here. This one is so hard. Why is it so hard? This one's precise jumping. Oh. It is. It reminds me of like what Super Meat Boy. Oh, uh, Super Meat Boy gives you infinite lives though, which I wish this one did. I would also almost suggest like an alternate game of like infinite lives oh, for this because it's so bloody hard. Yeah, it should be infinite lives. Yeah, it's just hard. Oh, actually, it should be infinite lives with a count up of how many lives you used at the end of the game, because as far as I see, there's no score, right? Hitting your head. It's hard to get it when it's like that. You have Seems to get it from the side. RC70 is crazy how disorienting is when the audio is just a little off. Feels like a dream or something. It's like we're a little bit behind. A little bit in front, a little bit behind the audio. 
There is actually a button that you can um, trigger. Well, you might be able to jump up to that. You should be able to. Ooh, no, you're going to have nope. to wall jump. <sighs> uh, pro tips, avoid spikies. I know. Oh, you can slide and jump off of it. Oh my god, it's so floaty. <laughs> so floaty. Nice. Oh, come on. You gotta be an expert at moving around. <gasps> Almost. Oh, I also hate having this on my lap. <laughs> I always do because it slides around. So as I'm trying to be precise, it slides around. Oh, it just makes you miss uh, controllers, like can, generic I controllers. The, I can bring out the Adladen. No, it's not the Adladen. It's um... boom. <laughs> Oh. Hey. oh, slide. Whew. It's like wall jump ninja when you slide. It's, nice. it's, it's just precise jumping. Oh. You have to jump on that one, then the next one. And then you have to jump over and land either on that one or that one. Oh, you could do, there you go. No, oh. all the way to the right, left. You could slide right no, now. No, but I wanted to stop. Mm. Uh, it's easier to... Oh yeah. Oh, oh god. That's good. So tactic. floaty. Oh, do you get three lives every level? No. Oh, okay. You made it here with all three lives? I, I don't. Oh, that is easier. Oh, nice. That's hard to avoid that. Oh, I jumped oh, too far. It's so floaty. A little bit goes really fast. Which is what makes it challenging. Okay, you're What's oh, the sticker on the back of the <laughs> controller? It says bad connection with question mark. I think there is something wrong with my 7800 because it never, because I thought it might be the controller, Ugh. but it never fails on the 2600. And my 7800 first port does fail sometimes. Pro tips, avoid spikies. Yeah. Avoid spikes is always good advice. Correct. Did the difficulty switches have any effect? Uh, it wasn't in the instructions. No, no. How did I do that? What no, just happened? Because you double jump. You double jump. Did you miss it? You double I jumped? I fell on the floor somehow. Oh. That's uh. better. Yeah. Hey, kittens. Easier said than done. Look at this little fluffy. Oh, you're so cute. So cute, little bear cat. No. Oh, if you get there, you can probably double jump your way up there. Ah! I uh, think I can? Oh, I maybe. Oh. What? You have, to, you have to slide down it. Oh, so let it, let it go for a little you tiny bit. You have to bit. let it go for a little bit. Nope! Damn it. <laughs> First level is just like practice. Level. Yeah. <laughs> Second level's torture. No. Ah, no. so spiky. So spiky, so like, spiky a cat's, like a cat's claws. Cat's claws. Oh my god. Oh, he's so cute. Just so soft and warm. So if you fall off, press, and then jump off, you, you should have to be able kind to do of. It. You you want to kind of slide on it. It's easier. You want to kind of like slide on one of the side. Oh. Oops. I was gonna say practice sliding. If you just lean up against it, you slide. So, there. Good job. Ooh, <laughs> good died. job. So probably easier. I to... think so. And then you just want to very precisely. Oh, no. You do get all your lives back. Or did oh, I do, do that first time? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, if you get all your lives back, that's not too bad. You get three lives for every level. Uh, uh. yeah. Still torturous. No! It's, uh, it's so fast! <sighs> and it's also the kind of game you can't put down because you're no. like, no, I just need to try it again. Mm. Oh, it's so hard. It's a very frantic game, too. Nice. Uh, no! Okay, do I have all my lives? Well, we'll see. Oh, 
No! No, you don't get all your lives back. Ah! No! <laughs> no! <sighs> would be easier on pal. Yeah, well, it would. This is a pal game, actually. Is it? Yeah. Is it going it's a faster than it should? Uh, it's a PAL 60 game, though. I don't know if that... If anybody can tell me if PAL 60 is slower than NTSC 60. No! Because 60 indicates the frames per second, right? So... Same speed. That's what I thought. See that? It didn't blank out. Yeah. And the things moved. Yeah. yeah. Oh my Isn't god, that that's nice? so that nice. That transition looks so good. I didn't even notice that. I thought the screen just moved. Oh, can I slide? No. There we go. Okay. That's so cool. Ah! I don't know how you get past that. Yes, Maybe can. the lower one is better? I don't know if, if you can slide over to... Ooh. That'd be hard. Like that one? Yeah. No. Like you drop and high. jump? Like drop and double jump? Oh. <gasps> That's way easier. No! You have to double jump up. No! You have to double jump up. That's okay. We figured it out, though. Oh, but yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, your turn. My turn. <laughs> Looking forward to speed runs of this. Oh boy. Yeah, that would be uh yeah, people could do very good speed runs of this game. Oh god. I have to get my sea legs it's back. It's so now. floaty you have to wonder how it's calculated on a 6502. Um tables. Look up tables. Oh. You have to jump up and in. You can't. Well, I guess you can. You should be able to. <laughs> so floaty. No. No, you can't do it. You have, oh. to, you have to jump off that wall. Uh, oh, good recovery. Nice. Okay, so... Oh! <laughs> We're going a bit crazy there. I uh, just moved too fast. Last life. Oh my god! It's so slidey. Remember to fall, then jump. <gasps> wow, okay. Do it that way. There you go, and you've done it. Now you have to just remember to double jump out of the teleporter. No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <sighs> nice. I always find the first one easier than the second one. <laughs> Double Down says, this game is too floaty. This game is too slidey. This game is just right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really open now. Oh, oh, double jump way too late. God damn it. Sliding down the couch. <laughs> slidey couch, slidey cats, slidey game. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. Don't be a panic cat. Oh. <laughs> readjust the pillow every time. Like, it's a pillow! It is it's the, the pillow. controls! It's the cats. Oh, why is you it used, not jumping now? You, do, you used up your double jump. Hmm? No, the slide, not the double jump. Oh. wasn't uh, destroying the wall. Oh, come on! Slide and destroy the brick! Yay! Oh. Like, 
I'm so frustrated. Beldown says, uh, slap the buttons harder. That will help. Yeah, always. It always helps. She does smack those buttons really hard. I like to smack the buttons. So slidey. My turn next. So slidey. Somebody somebody in the forums finished this game. Oh, I, I don't doubt that it's not finishable, but... I think they cheated, though. <laughs> Do you? Ugh. No. They might have. I don't think they so. Could. It's totally doable, but it takes a lot of practice. Oh, swearing sometimes helps, Colonel says. Swearing always helps. I don't oh. swear in this show. <laughs> Very rarely. Only when we're really mad. Right, kittens? Uh, it's a tiny landing spot. It is. No, nope. no, no, it's my turn. No. Nope. One more. Uh, yeah, Stella has rewind. It also has um, um, snapshots. So you can re return where you started. So you can just say, oh, I made it to level two with all my lives. Okay, save. Oh, I died. Restore. Oh, no! no! <laughs> I didn't think I had actually oh, hit no. it. Oh, man. I've occasionally punched a wall or thrown a controller. Well, you make your own controller, so you're allowed to throw a controller. Yeah. Oh, okay, now it's your turn. Oh, Not sorry. Yet. Almost went too far. I just yell no. <laughs> RC's I mean, my first experience with repairing electronics was fixing an NES controller I whipped on the back basement floor. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good practice. Come on. Yes, I, sometimes it's very... Uh, I don't quite understand the braking mechanic yet. Well, the sliding mechanic. You need well, to slide. you have to slide. push against the wall. Yeah. I'm pushing away from the wall. Actually, break through here. Yeah, I bet you can. It's hard to do though. You just slide down it. Ah. <laughs> I've done it. It's not worth it though. <laughs> You want it as a platform. No! Yeah, you, you have do. to get like the upper one and the middle one. That's the best <sighs> outcome. Not that. Not that. There you go. Not that. Not that either. Hi! Oh, I'm that cat. They're so cuddly and sweet. These guys are so sweet. Cuddly cat down here. Cuddly cat over here. Damn it! Lambda Express, I wish I had a rewind function instead of lives here, but I appreciate that it's just going to be hardcore about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just old school hard. Old school hard. I want infinite lives. Now you have to, yeah, you have to bounce off of it, which is super hard. Ah! No! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he bounced do that? off of it somehow. I just double jumped at the last second. You guys have really mastered level one, thanks, VDG. <laughs> we dominate level one. Dominate. Actually, I can just slide down this. Can you? 
Okay. Nope, you can't. You no. can't go in a hole. No, not that small. By sliding down. Oh my god. This game! Noisy controls, we're just slamming them hard. There. So cuddly. You made a hole in there. Did something. Yeah. Ah, do I have all my lives? I think I do. Uh, I think you're doing pretty good. <sighs> yep, I do. I just want to see level four. Damn it! It's so like one pixel away from landing on that. Don't do what I did. <sighs> that! Okay. Oh! Yo! Yo! Yes! <laughs> oh, oh my Demo goodness. Demo completed. That's about the Yay. right number of levels. It is. <laughs> Yay, 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 Oh, can I not fall down? Oh, yay. can you get in there? Can you? Oh, sure. Come on. There we go. Yay. <laughs> yay. There's like a timeout. Smart. Oh, for the, the yeah, you, you kind of need it or you would immediately you go, go back did, 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 did. Yeah, it's like a second or half a second timeout. Yeah, about half a second. Neat. Yay, demo! Let's see if I can spell something. Just probably not. <laughs> very, very, very good mechanics in that game. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Mm -hmm. And the music's really good too. Now the boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now the boss. Oh. oh, this needs a boss fight. Oh my goodness. Landing on their head. Oh my gosh. How hard would that be? Boing just and... just have it move and be covered in spikes. So you have to jump spikes, from platform spikes to platform. Spikes along the bottom and a floating boss just above it. Oh yeah. But you have to jump off the boss onto a wall. Jump off the boss onto the wall because you can't go below the boss because there's a spike that follows you. Yep. And then some sort of crazy teleport level yeah. where it's just teleports everywhere. Almost amazing. What happened? Oh, Everything no. lost. Oh, okay. I picked the wrong it's one because I was uh, trying to resync us. Gotcha. So, and of course, the the all the um, chat's gone too. Oh no! But oh, that's, that's okay. fine. It'll, It'll come, come back. back. There we go. There it is. No sound. All you missed was no sound. No yeah. sound. No sound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I switched to just the video camera one because I was resyncing us. Oh, I see. Silly. Yeah. Okay. Um. Next and last game of the day is... Steps. Steps. Um, if you would like to... Click on it. Load it up, and I will switch out the cart graphics. There we go. Okay. So this is by Dave Christensen. Dave C. This builds from December 29th. It's a 4K game. He also made Legendary Spear, Pizza Boy, Refractor... And now, Steps, you can download this game in the Atari H forums. Your job is to help Zara the Clever Squirrel collect mm. all the acorns. Mm. She put them all up in a long stairway, reaching up to the sky. But there's a catch. Zara is an exceptionally tricky squirrel, and to keep any other squirrels from raiding her cache, she has made it so you can't walk straight up the stairs. You have to jump instead. There's a number on each stair indicating how far you can jump. Hmm. Up or down. No more and no less. Uh, okay. Jump too far off either end of the stairway and you'll fall. 
Luckily, Zara is also quite agile and will catch herself. Get to the top of all the stairs and you'll get a special prize. Hmm. Uh, this game is based on a type of jumping maze called a tweet maze. So I'll get you going and okay. I can just show you. So I would pick that one. It's the shortest one. What? what? So you can go left and right. And you can pick... Oh, actually, there's a shorter one. What am I picking? You're sh picking the length of stairs. I don't understand. That's a long stairs. But, but... That's short. You're picking the level. You're picking difficulty. Oh, the level. Oh. No, you didn't pick the shortest one. Does it matter? Yes, it does. Shorter is easier. No, you didn't pick the shortest one. Try it again. Press the button. Go left and right. That, there, that's the shortest one. This will be a good training. Because the longest one is very hard. Okay, so you're on one. A stair okay. says one. Now you can move. Up right. one. Only up one, right? So move to the right. And oh. now you can move three. Now you can't move down three because you'll fall down. Now you can move two, but wait. If you move to the right, you'll fall off. There you go. Yay! Now you know what to do. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, this game is based on a type of jumping maze called Tweet Maze that I came across looking for puzzles I could add to the VCS Lisp. At first I thought it would be impractical to visualize this type of maze in the 2600, until I hit on the idea of steps to display the maze diagonally. The graphics kernel for VCS Lisp support drawing indented blocks of text that could be made to kind of sort of look like stairs. So I started building a quick proof of concept. Then I had a side quest to make a maze generator. Oh. Then I started to add custom graphical uh, sprinkles and sounds. Now it's several months later and has spiraled into its own thing. Uh, more on tweet mazes and other kinds of jumping mazes at the Maze Blog. More on solving tweet mazes uh, at ULISP, where I originally found out what a tweet maze is. The music for Steps is based on Dom Domenico Scarlatti's Sognata in B minor, K27, transcribed into Furnace Tracker and then run through a mm. custom export process. The way it cut to the full people cam and lost audio at the same time, I thought I blacked out and woke up later in the show. <laughs> yeah, it's a very unusual view of us. It's full without any things around us. Yeah, I thought this was a great idea. Like every show, every uh, game we play tonight is so, so unique. Like their concepts or ideas or mechanics that I've just haven't seen used in a way before. Hmm. Now there's two ways to solve this. Yeah, by counting up and down. <laughs> one by just going for it, and another one by backtracking. So six won't get you the top, four won't get you the top, to get to that two five. won't get you the top, three to, won't get you the top. I have to top. get to that five, so I have to get to that two. Five is the only one will get you one, to the top. Two, three. So now how do you get to the five? You have to, you can go to the two, that'll get you there. Um, what else will get you to that five? I don't think anything else will get you to that five, just the two. So how do you get to the two? Not the six, not the four, not the three, not the five, not the four, not the five, not the one. No, you have to get six. to the five. Six, one, two, three, one, four, five, six. One, you have to get to the six. How do you get to the... Oh, just go one, one down. Yeah. Go to the six, go up to the two, down to the five, Yeah. up to the top. That's what I was trying to count. <laughs> I was just a little Counting bit ahead of through. you. Yeah, but you were confusing me because you kept talking and I was like, okay, yeah, now sorry. I've lost what my, what my counting was. So. Uh, yes, I was saying VCS Lisp. I've never heard of that before. So apparently there's another programming language besides Batari Basic, Assembly. Uh, that's it. <laughs> VCS Lisp. Oh, uh, I'll explain it again. Tanya's on a, on a one step. That means she can go up one or down one. That's it. So if she was on a three step, she can go up three or down three, etc. Now you have to re oh, she's almost at the top. Um, and you have to get exactly to the top step by using the numbers. Uh, they are presets randomly generated by a tool. Ah. 
four, three. Yeah, three. No, 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 not four. Four doesn't take you to three. Four takes you to five. Um, oh, six takes you to two, then to three. Yes. Yay! Yay! You got your buried nuts. You win. I like any games involving squirrels. And puzzles. But especially squirrels. Yep. This Four little guy could be a squirrel. minutes, 22 seconds. This guy is so funny. So I'm going to do the next Look at how exposed up. and happy this kitten is. So happy. His belly is So just... trusting. Oh my goodness. Um, and two, and one, and two. One, three, two, nope. What? I've been on every single one of them. No, because you have to go backwards. I have to get to that two. Three. How do I get to that two? Oh, there we go. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, five. Uh, down, I have to do. Uh, that'll take me one. No. Oh, and then I go to the... I have to go up. Oh, four. Yep. No, I have to go down. Nope. Gets me back to the beginning. One, I have to go to five then. Then two. I should go up. And down, then up. There's only a limited number of moves. Yes, yeah, uh, but the longer the staircase, the more complex and hard it is yeah. to find your way there. Three will take me to the bottom again, so I have to go up. I have to do the five. I have to do the four. And then three. Yeah. This is a long one. Probably not the longest. The colors are great in this. Mm -hmm. Possible strategy with less thinking. The mazes are biased to try and be as long as possible and switch directions as, as much, much as possible. That makes a sense. A little bit, yeah. I have to do six. I don't have to do anything now. Seven? Will that take me to the top? You want to get to the four. Oh, damn it. Four, three, two, mm. Which four? The other four. Damn it. Yep. Oh, no. No? Or the one. Can you get to the one? The six. Can you get to the six? Um, let's see. Five, four. Uh, no, that takes me to th three. Uh, no. Okay, let's backtrack. Are, are you backtracking already? Uh, go down. Okay. One, two, three. That takes me to the two. Takes yeah, me to down. Six. And then up. And then down one. Up. Thank you. I think it's easier to backtrack, isn't it? Now, to make this more difficult than work backwards would be the numbers shifted after each move. Oh, oh can you imagine? Evil. Ooh. Or VVD, or if the numbers were invisible. No. No. Don't give them any suggestions <laughs> on invisible gaming. No. <laughs> invisible gaming is my nemesis. Okay, I can't go up. Some of them kind of force you. And I can't go down. Okay. I so can't go down. So you have to go up. I now. can't go up. So I have to go down. Now there's a choice. Now I have a choice. Four, one, Five, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. Then I have to go down. I was thinking of a dark mode to go up. where the solution is played to you by sound. Oh. Ooh. They could blink for a fraction of a sec section like no, a second no, like subliminal no, messaging. No, that just makes it. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, <laughs> James feels traumatized from invisible. Invisible dark anything. Mazes. Or things that. F there are some games. No, I'll take that back. There are some games where flashing I like. Um, some use them very well, like um, Spies in the Night 2. There's some flashing uh, levels that are really good. So I won't discount all the flashing ones. Don't. 
<sighs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Go down to up. Does that get you to the top? Yep. Yep. Go, little squirrel. Oh, this is the biggest one possible. Nice. The noises are good. Uh. Don't want eight. It gets you right back to the beginning, so. So seven. You have to go. Have to go up. Up. Either way, it could do something. This thing's so long. One, two, three, four. Is that right? If I go four, Nine. then six. I think you want. No, that's oh. eight. Oh, oh no! Yeah, you did that the wrong. First tumble. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Up to nine, down. I have to go up. I don't have to, but it'll take me back to the beginning if I don't. Then I have to go down. Then up eight. Then I have to go up. Then I have to go down. <laughs> then I have to go up, because it was I'm at the beginning again. Now I can go down to the eight. Yes, you want to go down to the eight and up and up. Now, is that how many more stairs I have to climb? Nine? Yeah. Oh, you're taught you have a time limit. Yeah, there's oh. it's a speed. Speed. Down. Well, like yeah, you up, have to. Up just goes back and forth. Yeah. And then I have to go up. Then I have to go down. <laughs> then I have to go up because that does take me to the beginning. Up takes me to seven, which I mean I have to go down again. Down takes me to nine. It gets you right back to where you were. Oh, down to nine? Yeah. I think that works. Nine? Yeah. Then and obviously down. down. Eight? Is that enough? I think it isn't. No. Uh, what? So then do you go one, two, three, four, or up to five? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yep. One, two, then eight? Yep. So up to five, down to two, down to eight, up to the crown. As an adult, I just learned you can tell which way the staircases go by looking at their tread. If they go up or down? What? Hmm. Thank you! Um, so, these lengths, I don't think it's explained what these are really. It's just the number of... Oh, how many different staircases you yeah. have to do? Oh, I Small see. Small to large. I think it's just, just a representation. So these are all large. Tree time muted. Did, oh, is or is it... What? Did some, Did you trigger tree time? Oh, we did. Did he? Did we miss it? I think I may have turned this down all the way. I did. I will, I will trigger tree time manually. Okay. So that they can hear it and go nuts. Okay. Okay, I'm going to switch it to the cat cam. So you can see them go nuts. That noise in the background is terrible, it by is. the way. That's a problem. <laughs> cat. Oh, cat. Ready. You're such a cat. Yes, You're you are. You're such a cat. You're such a cat. Okay, let's see. Let's trigger the treat time. Release the cats. Release the catnip. Readies? Oh, it, it's not in the cat. Let's see. Okay. Eight to ten. Okay, ready? Watch these cats. It's treat time. It's yum, treat time. yum, 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 yum. <laughs> they go nuts. They love it. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, time for treats. Last treat time of the day. So, uh, oh, you only had one before, right? This is the second one? Second one. Okay. Yeah. Let's start the prediction. Are you guys ready? To bet on some kitties. Bet on some kitties. Atari won last time. Yes. Two. It was up two. Up two. So. <laughs> um, Sprite won last 
show three like, times. Very consistently. He won by two last time, yeah. so I'm not sure if Atari's still hungry for winner winning. Are you hungry for winning? You still hungry to win? What do you think? Hey, let's see. <laughs> Movie sign? No, someone was saying, surprised you don't have a light or something that lights up behind you when it's treat time. Like, burr, 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 burr. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have to rig that up. I mean, I have something that goes on the screen that has a little bell. Um, <laughs> I'd like to see the room lights drop out and a strobe light. <laughs> <laughs> just, you just need an alarm. They, you, they used to have that. Do you like remember this. for hockey games <sighs> where they would have like... When a, they score. Uh, um, they have a siren. Like a siren and, and a light. They do. So, and it would, yeah. you could buy it and put it in your living room and it would trigger oh, when you're watching, what? when people would score watching the hockey game. What? Does anyone remember that? They had them How did that a while work? ago. I don't know. They were like <laughs> via was, Wi-Fi or something. I have no how idea. How long ago was it? Oh, I, don't, I don't remember now. Because things they like used that to sell them. really didn't come into being like Wi-Fi Maybe 10 connected. years ago. I don't know. Ooh, that'd be on the edge of that kind I, of stuff. Am I the only one who remembers that? I seem to remember that. But it was for hockey games, so maybe maybe <laughs> that's a specifically Canadian thing. It might be. Sounds yeah. Canadian. Anyway. Mystery uh, Feline Theater. The Captain Power Technology. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yeah. It was just a flashing thing on the screen. Oh, yeah. Epilepsy uh, yeah. <laughs> warning. Okay, uh, we've got about 10 seconds left. To bet on oh, your favorite predicts. cats. Predict on oh, your favorite Oh, Sprite's up Sprite ahead. 3 Plus is empty. No, oh, now it's not. Just in time. Nice. Atari 3 Plus, Sprite yep. 3 Plus. Okay. Submissions closed. The bets are covered. Not once have we ever had a treat time Yeah. where somebody won not in a category that's covered. Everybody always sneaks one True. in. They always go bling. Well, I would bling. do that too. I'm like, well, no one's voting for it. So Doesn't on the off chance I get lucky. Hardly costs anything, yeah. right? Okay. okay. Ready, cats? Let you handle the... Uh, bells okay let me get the uh sounds like a spencer's gift i swear they were spencer's. in like labat blue it was definitely beer related that's all i'm gonna say are you ready canadian or labat blue sold them or you'd get them with your two four and sprites off with two dings but it only counts as one Oh, and Atari, Atari with a very one soft ding, ding but it was a ding we heard no it. you can't bet in more than one category which makes sense sprite and they are gearing up to the gate. <laughs> they are out the gate. They're out of the gate. Oh, oh spread, spread again. again. Three to one. Come Harder. on, Atari. Harder. Atari. Harder. Harder. There Good we kitty. go. Good kitty. Good Atari. Oh. Very strong ring. That was... Did he bat it over he there? He batted it across the room. Four to two for Sprite. Atari's walking back. Atari. Very good oh. ring. Oh. Get it away from... Oh, no. Don't carry it. Sprite. Sprite oh, five Oh, Sprite's on it now. Ooh, he's doing well he's this to get, round. Get it back. Oh, oh Sprite again. Six, three. He is inhaling them. Yep, ring the bell. Don't look at us. No, look. Ring yeah, the bell. Ring the bell, buddy. No. Come on. Oh, oh Sprite. Sprite again. Seven. Oh, Atari. Seven, there you go. Four. It is. He's three up on Atari. He's covering that spread. Oh, oh Sprite. He's taking destroying butts. Atari. Taking oh, butt no. and taking names. Oh, Atari. Atari's good one. Good ring. Eight to five. Solid nine ring to five. Sprite. Oh, it's my gosh. already game point. Game point for a Sprite. Is sprite is hungry for revenge. Can you get one more in? No. no I can't. <laughs> Ten to five. All right. A few extras. There you go. That was a massacre. Oh, my goodness. Nostalgic. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Oh no. So three plus for the Spritey Pants. Wow. Someone won a lot, I think, on that one. I think they did. I think someone got the whole pot. Yeah, there's only one bet, I think. It was like ten. Yep. It just threw in a couple <laughs> bucks. It's the way to go. Let's see who it is. Who won? Prow seven got the whole pot. Wow, Prow seven, woohoo is right. Six sure, now you get a plus wow. three spike. <laughs> <laughs> nice win, Prow Seven. Uh-huh. I was going to bet three plus, but I missed the timer. Yep. Oh, no. Too late. Too late. We were chatting too much. Yep. Kitties, you good? You good? Are you good? treats. Oh, the yummy yummies. Yeah. Unleash the kittens. There you go. Okay. So let's take a look at the games today. All so, right. Oh, oh, Game roundup. Wait, wait, wait. Let me switch back to us. Okay. 
So we played four games today. Uh, we had the world premiere of Catch. Yes, like a uh, originally a mechanical pong type handheld game. Yes. Converted it, by Mike to uh, Atari 2600. Atari game. 2600. It uh, converted very well to it. Fantastic. Um, the fast speed is very challenging on it. The slow speed is very easy, good for kids. Yeah. Um, it'd be good if you added a medium speed that to I kind think, of get in the middle of both of yeah, those. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It was very challenging. You have very to be very precise, and you, you really have to go on instinct and hit you that do. button, or it won't catch. Very quick. I, I really enjoyed it. Really fun game, really good two-player game. Yes, and good one-player game. Yes. And also excellent use of the keyboard control, a yes. very seldom used controller. Yes. Um, so you don't see that very often. So that's it was a really, really good game. Yes. Um, so I highly recommend it. It has a lot of options. Yeah. Um, what did it have? Fast speed, slow speed. It had random different and timers. Standard. Oh, random and standard, yeah. which aren't that different because it, it, it put in the standard there for the um, history, historic value of the original game. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was like, you'd have to memorize a huge 36 uh, move string back yeah. and forth. 36 moves. You won't be memorizing that. No. So in essence... It's random. Bo both are random. Yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah. So highly recommended. It's a fun, simple game. I am super... It's super strange nobody has converted it before. Because mm -hmm. I've heard of that game before. I've watched the video about yeah. the mechanics of it. And I thought it was amazing. Yeah. But fun. yeah. Great. Uh, we played Zed Keep today. Yes. And... Fantastic. Wow. Absolutely it, fantastic. Really I, worth playing. Music's fantastic. Three different tracks of music. Really fast, dynamic gameplay with the bouncing ball and the music, and then oh yeah, the music dictates the, the speed, speed of the game from slow to fast. So but it's they were all really good, really fun. To different listen difficulties. To. Yeah. And just like the game, it's um, kind of ported, influenced by Yump. Yep. The music goes along with the bouncing ball. Yeah. So the faster the music, it's got three speeds: slow to fast. The faster the music, the faster the ball bounces, the faster you get through the maze. Yeah. Um, it. I. We didn't finish the level four or five. Those are very challenging. But we got what through one to three. Yeah. So it's got a good difficulty range. That's for sure. Yeah. Definitely has a bit of a. Some of those those songs have a bit of a rave feel to them. I want my glow sticks. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Really fun. Really yep. really good. Uh. Then. Uh, Third one was button. Uh. Yep. Button. Uh. Oh my god. Amazing controls, a uh, great platformer. Feels very Super Meat Boy-esque in some yes. ways, although the limited lives do make it fairly frustrating. Yeah, you get three lives. Um, it is just a demo, this version. It's only got four levels. Well, three? Uh, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, just three, three to levels. pass, and then four is the end of the, the demo. Um, but they're challenging levels. I super hope they come up with a bunch more levels and make it yes. a more fleshed out game because it was so fun and so hard. Yes. Excellent. Um, and when they make um, more levels, I hope they maybe convert it to unlimited lives or you get your lives refreshed mm -hmm. at, after passing each level, especially if it gets harder and harder levels because that was just enough lives to get through the demo because yeah. it's challenging even after... You, it's not a fact of not knowing what to do in the level. It's a fact of control and being very precise with the controls. But you never feel the controls are unfair. No. You feel that you are in control. You just have to get better at the controls. Yeah. They're challenging enough that you'll get frustrated with it, but you want to keep pushing for it. And that's the right level of challenging as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So, so if you like yeah. platformers... This is the game for you. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. If you like Super Meat Boy, I think this is a perfect scaled-down version of Super Meat Boy for the 2600. Yeah. Uh, the last game is Steps. It's a step puzzle game <laughs> involving numbers, and it involves a squirrel. <laughs> Need I say more? Yeah. It's great. I, Fantastic. Super fun game. Yeah. Good if you have kids and they're learning their addition oh, and subtraction yes. and be counting three levels. I think that's a, it, it'd be a really good game for kids. It'd be a very good game for kids yeah. because 
it's simple enough that you can teach them okay it's yeah what age level it'll be quite quite early i mean i, I especially yeah. if you give them on the, on the on the smaller levels i think they could do it quite easily it's a uh, good practice of addition and subtraction and counting up and down yeah. so i think that's really cool um, great yeah really and if you analyze game. it too much like kind of we did where you backtrack it gets too easy because you can just look at it, go dit, 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 in your mind, and you can solve it without If you're a good mental moving. math person, then yeah. you, you, you'll you probably find it really easy. But, but it's the, fun. At the same time, it does have a timer. Yes. So even if you're doing it any way you do it, like just moving around yeah. or mentally mapping it out, there's still a time factor and a randomness to it. Yeah. So there's a lot of replayability. Edutainment title. Yes. 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 That's the perfect title for yeah. it. Absolutely. Um, so great games all four today. games today were absolutely fantastic super unique never seen any of them all of them like right them up before. my alley all of them are games that i <laughs> oh, really too. enjoy this style of those games they have oh they're yeah. fast play i love two player games yes two players um, awesome. i love rhythm games i love any kind of puzzle games yep um all fantastic yeah, yeah. really great really lineup. great great show today yeah a good, <laughs> great show today <laughs> great show great show yeah we didn't make these games no <laughs> some no. very talented people yeah uh made these games and um yeah good kickoff to 2024 yeah that's for sure yeah so way to start 2024 so what's yeah. coming up on the show let's take a look at what i've got scheduled so far Oh, you're welcome, Rendered Ghost. I love <laughs> highlighting uh, new games, especially very unique games. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the exclusive world premiere next episode of Escape from Mars. Mm -hmm. um, we'll also be playing the final version of Kovi Kovi, which is a Dr. Mario esque oh, port. Oh, yes, yes, excellent. Um, I believe he's changed the needles so you can move the needles in any direction um, because there was something with that before. Um, and I'm going to throw in at least a third game there as well. So that's a to be determined. Um, and then I'm looking to see if we're at least going to be playing next Tuesday. I'm going to move the the 8-bit, um, Atari 8-bit, probably to next Friday after that. Um, but on next Tuesday, we're probably going to be playing, well, we're definitely going to be playing Bubble Bobble. Mm. Um, because that has been released to the public now. If you uh, search for it in the Atari Age forums, mm -hmm. it's uh, named BB. <laughs> it's not to trigger any any searches, let's okay. say. Okay, fair enough. And we might play Mario Brothers as well. Ooh, A okay. new version of Mario Brothers. Nice. Maybe final version? Okay. At least very, very close to final. Mm -hmm. And maybe a third, but those will... I know Bubble Bubble will take up a lot of time, mm -hmm. so... Actually, is Bubble Bubble finished? No, it's not. I think the one for download is just a demo of the first eight levels. Mm -hmm. But I have to check on that. Yeah. Yeah, super secret. Both of them are super secret. Yeah, BB, good yeah. luck. Maybe just go to the 7800 forums and just look down the list of new ones. Or just look at my list of, of stuff I... Yes, yeah. Mm, maybe I should change it to BB in my list. Mm. <laughs> anyway, he hasn't said anything. So old style is all good there. Um, and at some point during this month, I'm going to have to schedule with, uh, Darcy and Erlen. <laughs> We're doing the four player special. My favorite. Um, we also have, um, I don't know why it's here, but there's going to be a secret game, four player secret game. I thought I had it on here, but maybe not. A oh, four, sorry. Oh. Yawn. Where did uh, that come from? A yeah. four-player secret, secret, secret game. game that has not been announced anywhere. Oh. And I believe it's for the 7800, oh. if I remember correctly. It's been a while since Exciting. I've looked at that. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. Double Down says um, Bubble Bob BB is just eight, eight, or, eight or ten levels. Yeah. Yes. So we'll at least play through at least the demo, or there might be a version that I might be able to play. We might be able to play with that more levels um, that mm. we'll be able to check out. Uh, but upcoming very soon is the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards nominee reveal <laughs> in exactly one month, actually. Wow. February 2nd. And that's when the voting starts for you guys mm. to vote on your favorite games of 2023. So we'll be putting out the top six as nominated by the nomination committee. Um, old Style Curious. How I, oh, Old Style's right there. <laughs> that's right. Working on these games makes me paranoid. <laughs> They're awesome games. They're so good. I am so glad you made them. 
Um, yeah, you're walking that fine line. <laughs> yeah, we just have to shh, don't talk too loudly about yeah. it. Um, luckily, these uh, systems aren't like massive. It's a small community, but yeah. Just call it Bub and Bob. Bub and Bob. Bub there and we Bob. go. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then uh, almost a month after that, we have the uh, Atari Home Rewards live presentation. Yeah. In one and a half months almost. In wow. February. Oh my goodness. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> I can hear the tension in James. <laughs> uh, a month and a half. Tensing up. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'm preparing to send over the mm -hmm. to the nomination committee all the games of the year mm -hmm. in on the seventh. That's when they start their their voting and narrowing down. Um, but I have to um, look through all the lists, compile all the binaries, look for the videos, look for games that aren't supposed to be on the list, um, preparing the packaging photos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, all that stuff. And then they get to vote uh, for three weeks, I think, uh, throughout the month of January. And then it goes to everybody else out there. Um, so I think we need some more nomination committee members. Okay. In Lynx and Jaguar. Okay. Um, for some reason, my messages haven't been getting out to them, all the people, because there's like a huge list that haven't responded. But, but I re ping them okay. and some people are responding now. Okay. So we'll see. We may not need more people. Okay. Um, so I think that's it. Excellent. Such a good show today. Oh, Thank so you much everyone fun. for joining us. I think we had a pretty good turnout of yeah. viewers. Lots oh, of people in the chat. Yeah. So, um, oh, I'm on Atari. My name is P1FQ03. Uh, yeah. Uh, RC78. That's a very different name than RC78. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so thanks for tuning in. Old style RC70, VVG Double Down, Pseudo Graphics, Mark, Mark Johannes, Game, Game Composer. Composer. Oh, I have to get back to you on email. I've been away mm. on vacation and blah, blah, blah. Metalatari. You got it. You got it right. Rendered Ghost, VVG Double Down, Chalcedony Mao. Nostalgic 26. Uh, Carl G. Prow 7. Dan of C. Uh, Gamma Dev. Lambda Express. Rendered Ghost. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Uh, Charles Whelan. Huge ass. Oh, my God. So many names. Yeah. So many chatters. I think it was a good that's day for chatting. it for now. Um, so we'll be back on Friday with Darcy. Uh, with some more awesome 2600 games. Excellent. And exclusive world premieres, I, all I that. I look forward to seeing Darcy. Yes. Okay, so we'll see you on Friday, and uh, have a great week, everyone. Yes, bye. Bye-bye.